Okay, well, you just heard the amazing Rob Balducci playing through one of this guy's uh, amazing atomic amplifier products at NAMM 2017. This is Tom, who I've known for a few years, uh, and just going to talk about some of the new stuff that you're releasing at the show. So, what is this little naughty box of tricks you've got here? This is Amplifier Box, and Amplifier Box is basically distilling the amp modeling technology from our amplifier line and putting it in the most compact and user-friendly format possible. Yeah. Now you, you said to me, so the, the idea is, is you can have up to nine different amps which you choose from the full range of amplifier amps? That, that's correct. You, you, there are nine amps that you can load into the pedal at the same time. They can be selected using these dip switches and uh, for up to a combination of up to nine, and then there are three cabinet models that you can also choose. Uh, there is USB on the back. So you can plug this into your computer and use our software tool that allows you to add any of the amps from the amplifier collection as well. And do a few other little tone shaping tricks that uh, aren't obvious from the front. And you got reverb on here too? Yes, so the, the entire suite of effects would include our amp modeling, reverb, cabinet impulses, and drive pedal options. So if this pedal was the last pedal on your board, and you, it was a traditional pedal board and you had tube screamers or whatever else you wanted, and then with the cabinet impulse responses on it, this straight into either a FRFR like your atomic uh, cabs or, or into a PA, that's a, a gigging, working pro solution. Absolutely, I mean, that's why we've got our XLR jack here. You just take it right out to the board, you take the quarter inch out to your amplifier setup and you're good to go. And you said this is gonna be 299. I did say that, I <laughs> said it here first. I, I like this, I must admit, I think the format is cool and, and it, so, just in case anybody's worrying, is it different DSP to what's in Amplifier? No, it's identical. We're taking the exact same amp modeling technology, the patented world-class amp modeling that we built Amplifier off of, and put it into this little pedal. You know, the other thing too is that, you know, even if you don't want to use the amp modeling pedals and you've got a favorite preamp you'd like to use, you could turn off the amp modeling and just use the power amp modeling and the cabinet modeling. Right. And so there's a lot of different little trick uses for this as time goes on. But this is kind of a first, I think, in the market for this type of a pedal that we're excited about. And one of the things that really got us excited about making a pedal like this was that we wanted to do something that the people who hate displays and they hate having menu systems even worse than displays, uh, and they wanted to something that looks like and plays like a pedal and sounds great out of the box. Yeah. And that's really what we shot for with this product. And we've gotten a great reception so far, so hopefully it will do well for us. Well, good luck with that, man. We will definitely be stocking those. Um, I just want to show, because we haven't given Amplifier 12 a massive amount of love yet at Andertons. Uh, you've probably seen a ton of videos on, on uh, the original Amplifier. Amplifier 12 here is exactly the same software, exactly the same processing, but in a, a, a unit that's going to give the player way more switching. But what is cool recently is, can you tell us a little bit about how you've updated the editor? Yeah, I mean, you know, the original editor that we came out with was very functional, but a lot of people said, gee, it's not too good looking. So we put a new face on it, and we're starting to add more functionality into the editor, so people who want to be able to switch impulses more easily and audition things more easily will be able to do it. So hopefully not only looks better, but we're going to continue to develop it and make it play better. 
Well, I know we have a video, another video going up on the Andersons channel very soon, which takes a, um, a deeper look at this. But for now, good luck with everything you are launching at the NAM show. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Aye, aye, Captain.